All right, welcome back. This video is going to cover galleries on Simplicity. We have two main ways to set up a gallery. Um, one we call the grid, and that's what we're looking at right here, where it's laid out like a grid. Okay, and you click it, and the box opens. It can be either a video or it can be an image, as well as we can actually sort through these. So if I click this, I can sort by video, I sort by image, and of course, in all. All right, the other one is a slider type of gallery where we're going to have a large image up here, and then we have a little type, uh, I guess it's sort of a slideshow, where you can kind of scroll through the pictures. Now, I want to take the time to point out that we include short codes with all of our themes, and in fact, one of those short codes is actually creating a slider like you see here. I'm not going to go over creating this particular uh, slider on this, on this video. Um, I will at some point do a video on short codes. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I think I have another one for another theme that I'm probably going to set up. Um, but there is a little short code you can drop in for creating these slides. And technically, I guess that's a gallery. If you want to use it like a gallery, I'm uh, sure. Um, but right now, don't worry too much about that. Or if you're wondering, well, what the heck's a short code, then you're going to want to check out the short code video. All right, let's get back to business here. What we have are our, our two main galleries our slider type and then the you know the typical type where you click it and we have a large box right so it's a two-step process basically we need to set up the page is gonna house or hold the gallery um, and we need to actually set up the gallery so let's go ahead and do the gallery first so we're gonna come down to uh, photo gallery and I've already set this up if there was nothing here basically you would click this box to add a gallery to set up your first gallery. So um, you can set up multiple galleries and I'll kind of touch base on that in a, in a second. So what I first want to do is go over the general idea. So let's go ahead and, and click this. And one more time. And here is our current gallery that we see right on, on the front end of the Simplicity demo. Okay, so these are all our pictures. So to start, I can constantly add to this. So all I do is come over here, click the Upload Images section, find my picture, sort of find something that's not been done in here, add it, it's uploading, all that boring you know stuff. There it is. And then what I want to do is click Update Pictures Info. Let's make sure this thing's saved. There we are. Really easy, straightforward. Okay, next is videos. You're probably wondering, hey, how do I do videos? Oh, and before I forget, the gallery, the other gallery, the slider gallery does not do videos. Let me say that again. The slider gallery does not do videos. If you want to have videos uh, show up, you must use the grid gallery. Okay? Um, anyways, we have video capability, and you would have to upload a thumbnail, of course. So, like you see here, um, the uh, the ladies, we have the the picture, the thumbnail. So, if I click this, I need a thumbnail, right? Something to click. If I click it, I get my pop-up box. There's my video. I can watch it. What you want to do is, we'll see this little box right here. Is you add a URL if you plan on it being a video. So you'll see these other ones that have no URL in it because it's, it's not a video. But the ones that do have uh, text in it means it's a video. So that's as easy as that. You upload a picture, like I just uploaded the, the rings right here. Oh, I forgot my title. Um, some title. And then what I'll do is copy and paste my video, YouTube or Vimeo, whatever. Paste it in there, save, and we're set. All right, now, next thing, and this is gonna really confuse you is we need to add this gallery to a page. The, the Simplicity theme has the capability of adding uh, one, multiple galleries uh, to multiple pages, or actually, not that you would want to, but in case you, you, know, you needed to, you could add the same gallery to multiple pages, so it's not restricted to one area. So what we would do is we'd go make a page, and we're just going to do gallery delete me so I know to, to delete this come over here give it your name 
in really easy. Click your pointer mouse in there, and then what we're going to do is select this button. This is a short code button. And you'll see it says Add Gallery on it. Click it, and then what we're going to get is a dialog box, and it's going to tell you to select your gallery, okay, and then your gallery type. So you'll see grid and slider, grid and slider, right? So I'll just click insert. All right, so we'll see grid, all that kind of good stuff. Now what we want to do is come over to uh, this section here, make sure that we do have default template. This is not going to work if you have blog um, or something, or sidebar or whatever else, or, or testimonial. It's got to be default template. Publish. Let's go ahead and, and check it out. There we are. We have the same gallery but on another page. Now, if you're adding different galleries for different section, what we want to pay focus, uh, pay attention to and focus on is this ID. Gallery ID equals. See this one? This gallery that we've already been going over is ID of one. That's basically how WordPress works, not to get too technical, but everything's based on a number and an ID. So this gallery Look right here in my address bar. See that? One. Okay, you with me? So if I click Add New, we'll get a new box. And then we need to add our default photo, right? Upload images. I'll just do, you know, like whatever, four for fun. Upload these. It'll take a second. I guess get a coffee or something. Boom, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and update pictures. All right. And so what do we see now? Three, right? Gallery three, that's our ID number. This is what we want, gallery three. So if I come back to the, excuse me, to the pages section, gallery delete me, And I make this a three. Refresh. What do we got? We got our alternate gallery. So that's how the gallery works. And then, of course, you wouldn't have to manually type this in, but I'm just showing you. If I made the slider, this converts to the slide. Oh, I didn't do something right. I mean, what didn't I not do right? Okay, well anyways, I don't know why I showed you that because you wouldn't do it. You would manually insert it, or, or uh, use the, the short code to insert it. Oh, I didn't capitalize the S, that's what it was. So, let's try it again. And then there's our slider. Alright, so, let me recap on that. Really easy, really straightforward. We add our gallery or add to an existing gallery. We see what our, our, our ID is. We'll see the one. So we know this is gallery ID one. If we need to add, add it to a page, we create a page. We make sure we have default template set and nothing else. We click the icon for insert a gallery. We choose the gallery type we want. Okay, and then once we've done that, we make sure we have the ID we want. All right, really, really uh, easy and straightforward. At least I hope it is. And that'll do it.